good afternoon and welcome back to the valedictory function. I would like to invite the great guy who was here with us uh, for the inaugural ceremony, Professor Sukhatme has kindly consented to spend some time with us. He has of course warned me that he will not give any speech, so I will ask him to give just a few concluding remarks. Before that, I would like to welcome him once again. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for coming. We also have here, of course, my colleague, coordinator, Professor Gaitonde. I would like to request him to come and join us here. Uh, there are some uh, faculty members and other colleagues. You will recall that we have broken this valedictory session into two parts. The first part is being conducted from IIT Bombay and the second part is requested to be conducted at each local remote center independently. So I begin by wishing those functions in the second half uh, a, a grand success. I am sure that dignitaries from local institutions would be there. I am very happy in fact to see the first ever attempt of this mega workshop conclude well. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who have worked so assiduously, not just for the last 15 days, but for last two months almost. Last time when we had the inaugural session, I had already thanked practically everyone including our remote center coordinators and the technical support there. I will just say that without the help of all those whom I had named, this workshop would not have been successful at all. There is however, one small subgroup which I regret having omitted to thank and that is the only thing that I am going to do in terms of thanksgiving today. Uh, that small subgroup is our own counterpart of the video and audio technicians, a large team led by Mr. Sajjan Kumar Dikshit, who actually makes the entire uh, underlying technology work so well for us. What you see here is a team of people led by Sajjan. I would like to request Sajjan to come down and I would request Professor Sukhatme to hand him over a bouquet as a sense of our appreciation. This is for you and your team, Sajjan. Thank you so much. As you all know, there are always large teams of silent workers who work behind the team, behind the scene, but without whom nothing would be feasible in terms of organizing such events. Although Professor Sukhatbe had warned me that he will not give a speech, but I am sure that a teacher like him would definitely like to say a few words of appreciation, depreciation or whatever and encouragement for our future efforts. Uh, Professor Patak, Professor Gaitonde, uh, ladies and gentlemen, all participants in this mega workshop all over India, greetings to you on this uh, typical monsoon day in Mumbai. I do not know if anybody has told you, but the rain which was eluding us so far has been falling since last night and all Mumbaikers want that rain because it our survival depends on it. So, greetings on a nice wet monsoon day from Mumbai. Uh, we have come to the conclusion of this mega workshop and uh, it has been in it has been a stupendous event. As all of you know, uh, I was there at the beginning, I gave the opening lecture and that is of course, uh, the program has gone off very smoothly. You have had a series of lectures by experts on all aspects of research methodology. And uh, the hope is of course, that the 8000 odd of you who attended this, a very large number will now be enthused to do their PhDs at some time in their career, do advanced degrees. Not just because you are required to do an advanced degree, but because as I said in my lecture, Doing research is fun, 
doing research is not just an obligation or, a, or something that you do because you need a promotion. Doing research is fun. Treat it that way and you will find that uh, life is better, everybody is happier with that type of attitude towards doing research. Now, a workshop cannot convey everything. Obviously, there are limitations to what it can do. We had a series of experts taking up different topics, how to do a literature survey, how to analyze experiments, how to plan experiments, how to present your thesis, how to write your thesis and so on and so forth. And the speakers were extremely good. Each one has spoken on these topics earlier and refined it. So, as I said, our hope is that we have enthused you enough so that you will feel like getting into this business of doing research. Teachers have a very heavy responsibility. It is not often understood that finally, when you go out with a degree from any college, it is some particular teacher or teachers whom you remember for some thing that they taught. And in some way, they inspire you to what you do later on in your life. This you find of many people. You ask them later on in life, well, in your college, did you, uh, did you like everything? He says, no, not, not necessarily, but there was some particular teacher, some particular professor whose lectures I really enjoyed, who made an impact on me for some remarks that he made or some, uh, 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 what you call some uh, suggestions that he gave to me and so forth. So, teachers have a very heavy responsibility, which is often not understood by society and yet they do, shall I say, uh, frame, set the framework within which students who pass out excel later on in their lives. So, doing a PhD is part of that reaching a stage where you will be make good students go out from your institutions. We are cognizant of the fact that this workshop which was held here would have had some limitations. Nothing is perfect, but we need inputs, feedbacks from people, those who have attended this, so that in future the workshop can be a similar workshop if it is conducted can be improved in terms of its content. We also need feedback regarding the technical manner in which the workshop was organized. That is the, the contact with you, the way the questions were handled, whether you had difficulty in, in getting receptions, uh, you know the overall uh, presentation, shall I say the video presentation that came across to you. Somebody sitting there sees things differently from somebody sitting here and unless somebody sitting there tells us what, what were certain obviously obvious defects or obvious deficiencies, we will not be able to correct them. So, we need inputs not only regarding the content of the workshop, we need inputs also regarding the technical, the visual manner in which this workshop was presented. Because IIT Bombay cannot sit back and say we have organized one workshop, it is going to organize many more it needs this input to keep on improving. And uh, as I said, uh, as Professor Patek said, I am not going to speak much now, I have given you one big opening lecture at the beginning and uh, today is not the date now for me to give another lecture, but to simply say that we wish you all well, we would like you all to be very successful as teachers, professors, wherever you are, our best wishes are with you. And we would not like to think that this contact which has been established is a temporary contact. If there is something more in some way that you would like to interact with either the persons who have spoken or the persons who handled the workshop, please do that. Today's world allows that kind of contact which was difficult a few years ago, whether it be through emails, whether it be through a telephone conversation or whatever. So, do contact people who handle this workshop or lectured on this workshop, so that certain aspects which are not clear or need to be clarified or certain comments that you wish to make will come back to us. It is only in that manner that we can move forward and succeed in the long range vision, which is to improve the quality of technical education in this country. That is our long term goal, not just this IITs, but of every technical institution in the country. So, good luck to all of you, my best wishes and now I will hand the mic back to Professor Patek. Thank you very much Professor Sukhatme for those encouraging words. We will keep this advice in mind. We will of course collect the feedback, we will of course work on that feedback and you are very right, only yesterday 
the ministry formally asked me not only to organize many more such workshops, but two more things. One, to help create more such hubs like IIT Bombay, so that multiple workshops can be simultaneously beamed to interested participants from different places. Second, to expand this scope to train teachers in all fields, not necessarily engineering education, but college education, school education. So it's a gigantic task. But what IIT Bombay has done is to convince ourselves and the nation that this is a modus operandi which is workable in order to scale the quality. So thank you very much, sir. I think you might want to just move over there. Yeah, Thanks yeah. a lot for coming. Yes. Thank you, sir. There is one set of people whom I have not adequately thanked. They are the heart of this workshop. And these are the experts who spoke to you for last 10 days. Sadly, we have only one representative amongst them here, Professor Narona. Yes. So thank you very much, Professor Narona. And please accept my thanks on behalf of all your colleagues who spoke on, on, on this uh, workshop.